welcome back bros to another video review where today we get to take a look at another tf safari weapons upgrade kit from the matrix workshop which is m-91 studio series snarl so for the contents it gets shipped in this type of uh box right here as you can see inside we have the first two items, which is going to be his blaster and his shoulder cannon. And then we also get its sword inside of this weapons upgrade kit. So let's take a closer look at the accessories. Here we have the first accessory, and it is the shoulder cannon. Or you could say arm cannon or however you want to call it. It is solid plastic. It does have a little weight to it. So it's not light. It's painted silver in the front and painted nicely black in the back and it's molded out of this white plastic as you can see right here so basically because he doesn't have a shoulder port i put it in the arm like i like i would have done if i had the g1 toy still but that's just how it looks and now he has that more accurate g1 appearance in my opinion so the next accessory i'm bringing out is going to be his uh his rifle or his blaster or whatever you want to call it as you can see it's painted in that black where it reflects off the light and it looks good and it definitely represents what he had when he was with the g1 release a long time ago so it just slides in his hand like this perfectly now i know i'm knocking stuff around i'm going to take this out right now so we can show off our last accessory so the last accessory is going to be the sword. As you can see right here, as I stated in the previous release, this sword is painted incredible. It has a nice detail. As you can see, it's got that nice shine to it to give it that metallic sword uh, texturized color up here. And then at the bottom where the hilt is, it is painted in that uh, metallic red. So it looks really good in my opinion. Now, this is the TF Safari sword. This is the Hasbro sword. As you can see, there is a little difference in the details of the sword. But look at how short the Hasbro version is and how wide it is compared to the TF Safari version, which is supposedly the recreation of the G1 sword. While I like the detail on this sword, I do not like the short and the stubbiness of the sword. So this right here makes Snarl, in my opinion, more complete with this sword in his hand. So, all right, guys, I had to show the comparisons as a group and a whole of the four Dinobots that Hasbro has already given us. Swoop has not been released, but these figures look great with the TF Safari weapons upgrade kits added to these Dinobots. And I like the way they look. So let's go ahead and move on past this and get the figure into his alt mode to show you how these accessories work in Dinobot mode also. Now that we have Studio Series Slag transformed into his alt mode, there's really nothing else the upgrade kit can do once it's in dino mode except accessorize the figure and store the weapons away if you choose to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and just put some weapons up here. Here is the shoulder cannon. We're just going to put it in the, the, the slot right here for the leg. And then you can put his, his blaster right here in the leg also. And then there's not really a place for this. But what I do is I just slide it right here in the bottom of the foot and now i have all the accessories as you can see stored on my studio series 86 slag and i must say having these weapons and these extra accessories for slag to me it adds a lot of playability and nostalgia to the figure that we all loved and wanted to collect back in the 80s for this character so now it's time for the Yabro figure review grading system, or in other words, what I like to say is going to be the pickup or the pass, where I share my opinions and my thoughts on this recent pickup to help inform you if you would like to purchase the same item as I have just done. So 
I'm going to just come up front and state it right off the bat. Yes, I do believe this is a pickup for anyone that is a G1 Dinobot fan. These accessories that have been provided by TF Safari, the Matrix Workshop, is definitely an upgrade, weapons upgrade, to the Hasbro Studio Series 86 Slug. As I showed you previously, the lengths of the two swords do not compare, and the new TF Safari one is superior in my opinion. In addition to that, they give us his shoulder cannon, which also has the missile head on the front painted silver. And then we get his more G1 accurate rifle. And that right there makes the set worth it for me. So if you're interested in picking up a copy of this weapons upgrade kit, I got my copy from tfsafari.com where I paid $14.99 for this weapons upgrade kit. Now, keep in mind, guys, it is on sale currently for $14.99. Regular price will be $16.99. And I do not know when the sale ends. But for me, these are some high-quality third-party 3D printed weapons upgrades for a figure that could use the more G1 weapons in appearance, in my opinion. As always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. By doing these four actions, it shows my channel a tremendous amount of support, and not only that, positive feedback going forth, so that one day, my channel will become monetized, and not only that, continue to grow. Thank you once again for spending your time watching my video, and until next time, yeah bro, I'll see you soon.